So we are on to council reports. Bryn, can you start? Sure, I uh, just have a quick update. The Municipal Infrastructure Committee is meeting on Wednesday at 6.30 and we have a short agenda, but I imagine we'll be taking up a good chunk of the um, meeting time discussing the master plan goal relating to energy efficiency uh, goals for the city. So if there's any interest um, or comments from the um, other counselors that I can bring to that meeting, um, feel free to e email me in advance. And of course, um, always welcome any members of the public that would like to attend that commission as well. Thank you. Jim. Thank you. I have nothing to report this time around. Thanks, Mike. Good evening, everybody. And as I, I have nothing to report tonight. Thanks. Hal? Uh, I have no report at this time. Thank you. I will just report that um, on Friday, I joined Mayor Weinberger from Burlington with the Chittenden County, Chittenden County Senators and Winooski and Burlington State Representatives um, to share some of our shared priorities as they move into the legislative session um, reconvening in January. Our superintendent and finance director from the school district joined that meeting as well and presented on the um, pupil waiting factors, which we discussed at our last meeting that would impact the education funding uh, coming to Winooski. Um, so just an update if you weren't able to attend. And that is all for me. So we can move to city updates and Wendy. Yes, Mayor and Council, I do have a couple of updates. Um, wanted to let you know the winter school bus is running as um, we let you know about last week. And the kids are crossing Winooski Falls Way um, because they're switching from one public bus to another public bus. The police department is assisting when they're available. Um, they might not be there if they get another call, but um, luckily it's early in the morning, so they're normally able to be there. Uh, a couple of just follow-ups on the mask mandate. I wanted to let you know um, what we've heard from the public since that. Um, the, the area towns and cities adopted very different mandates. So we are getting a lot of questions from the public. Um, folks are not generally upset. Um, I've spoken with a person representing a bank, a church, and two restaurants checked with the clerk's office and folks are asking for questions but not um, uh, not upset. I think it's good that we don't have an enforcement um, component mm -hmm. and that what we are looking for is um, consistency and compliance. And when we explain that vaccination doesn't help prevent the spread of the disease, um, people understand why we don't have a vaccination component. Um, we did implement the outreach plan for mask distributions. We did that Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Uh, supplied signage, printed and translated information, which was really helpful for folks. And also mask uh, kits to the, to the locations that we discussed. And we put masks in every food kit at the weekly food shelf pickup. And that turns out to be what we expected, which is a, a very effective way to reach people. So we are going to continue um, certainly to have masks at all city locations whenever we're open and also continue the outreach. And just a heads up, um, holiday schedule, uh, because this is the last meeting before January. Your next meeting will be January 3rd. So Thursday, December 23rd, City Hall will be open 7.30 a.m. to 11.30 a.m. Friday, December 24th will be closed. And then Thursday, the 30th will be a half day again, 7.30 to 11.30. And that will of course be on our website and all the other places where we post things. And just uh, to let you know, our new town clerk is sitting here beside me, uh, Jenny Willingham. Hi. So you can do a virtual wave. Um, and that is my report for tonight. Welcome Jenny, hope to meet you in real life soon. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Looking forward to it. Exciting opportunity. 